Hello and thank you for joining me. My name is Frank Walters and today we'll be doing the color splash effect in Pixelmator Pro. So today I'm going to teach you two methods on how to do this effect. The first method is to use a white layer mask and the second method is to make a selection. So let's go ahead and start. First thing we want to do is we want to duplicate our image layer. We can come over here and we can right click on this original layer or if you have an Apple mouse you would control click. Press the control key and then click your mouse. And we want to put duplicate. Very good. Now we want to desaturate this image so we come over here to the adjustments and we come down to hue and saturation and click on it. Then we want to move the saturation slider all the way to the left. And that's it. So now our image is now black and white. The color splash is, is probably one of my favorite effects because it takes a black and white image like we have in front of us now and it brings back the color only on one or two subjects. So it's, to me, it's a really it's a really great effect. It's really simple but powerful because uh, immediately um, your audience is drawn to the one or two subjects in your photo that you want them to, to look at. All right, so the way that we do this here, like I said before, we can use a, a white layer mask. So again, come over here to the top layer and right click or on the mouse, on the Apple mouse, control click and come down to add mask. So it's a white layer mask. So in order to bring back the color original layer on the bottom, we need to paint in black on the white layer mask. So press the B key on your keyboard to activate the paintbrush tool. And then we want to make sure that some settings are the way that we want them. So the color has to be black. If it's white, okay, let's say it's white on your screen, go to the keyboard and press the letter D and that will bring it back to black. Then you can press the letter X to alternate black and white. Okay, so you want black. The next thing is we want the softness to be 0%, so click and drag the softness from 100 down to 0. Um, that's because we, we don't want uh, uh, soft or fuzzy edges to our paintbrush. Next, we want to come down to the advanced settings. Maybe yours is closed, so mine's open now. You want to make sure that the brush spacing is at 0%. If the brush spacing is higher, then it'll create this little bubble, this little bubble shape here, and we don't want that. So we, we want our, our paint strokes to be smooth. Okay, and the last thing we want to do is change the brush size. So we're going to choose one of these uh, rocks here. Um, let's choose this one here, this little cute one here. So this paintbrush is currently too large. So let's come over here to the brush size. Click and drag it down to about, I don't know, 100. What I like about Pixelmator Pro is that when you do move the slider to the brush size, the actual cursor gets bigger or smaller. I think that's a really great feature. So. Um, it's not as precise as, as I want though. So the, the most precise way to make your brush size bigger or smaller is to go to the keyboard and use the uh, left bracket key to make it smaller or the right bracket key to make it bigger. So I think this is a good size. It is size 80 px. Okay, so now we're now before we start painting on our image, let's make sure that everything's set up perfectly. So let's come over here to the layer sidebar. Okay, the mask layer is active. That's what we want. If your top image layer is active, we don't want that. If the bottom layer is active, we don't want that. So make sure that the mask layer is active. Just click on it. Okay, and then make sure that the color of the brush is black. It is. And then make sure the size is, is the, way, the size that we want. So now we're just going to, I'm going to zoom into the picture. I'm going to use my trackpad in my two fingers and I'm going to pinch outwards so that the image gets bigger. There you go. So now we're going to paint 
inside of this rock. So I'll just start painting here. Click and drag. Um, try when you when you do this painting, paint the inside of the object first, and then when you come closer to the edges, I want you guys to to zoom into your picture as close as you can. And I want you to take use really small brush strokes, because because for because for example, if you do a brush stroke that's really long here, I'm gonna move the picture over to this person over here. So let's say you do a brush stroke and it's really long and really detailed, and you're like, oh, I made a mistake. So then, if you want to undo that, press command, press um, Control Z. And that gets rid of it, but gets rid of your entire brush stroke. So that's why short <clears throat> brush strokes are always best. Okay, so we have our our little person here, mostly colored back, but not the edges. So now we want to decrease the size of the brush by pressing the left bracket key. And we want to zoom into the picture. And we want to color in his edges. So just take your time. Do as good job as you can if, if you're new. You can see that I'm, I'm doing very many brush strokes because I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to paint the background here. You see how it, it brings back some color. So press Command Z to get rid of that last thing and then keep painting. Because there's some fuzziness <coughs> to this hair, Let's come over here to the tool options, increase the softness to about, I don't know, 20%. So that will allow us to have some, some uh, fuzzy edges, and that's okay. Okay, we're almost done. So when you do this, just, just take your time. There's no hurry. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, very good. Okay, that's our color splash effect. Excuse me, I had to take a drink of water because my throat's dry. Okay, now we're done with this <clears throat> this first um, way of doing the color splash effect using the white layer mask. So we want to delete everything. And the, my favorite way of doing that <coughs> is to hold down the Command Z button until everything disappears. Okay, now we're back to our original pictures. Now let's start over. Now we're going to use a selection brush tool to create the color splash effect. So again, come back to the original layer and right click or control click and press duplicate. <coughs> Excuse me. So come over here to the tools and click on the quick selection brush. And let's do a different one this time. Let's do I don't know. Let's do this guy here, okay? So this little, what is that, orange? So we're going to paint over him. And just, again, take your time. Just do your best job as you can. Okay. 
Okay, I missed a spot, so just click on this. Uh, if you come over here to the tool options at the top right, it says add. That's the one you want. Sometimes when you start <clears throat> with this tool, it'll be on new. But at, if you have to release your mouse and you have to start over like I did here, not start over, but continue, you want to make sure that the mode is on add. So you just click here and the add, the eye becomes part of the selection. And then come down here. Well, when you come down the bottom, because the black part of this rock person is matching the, um, I don't know what this is, like, uh, oh, this is the ground. You know, you, it's, not really it's not really necessary that we get down here because it's, it's, it's black anyways. So let's just not do that. Okay, our selection is pretty good. So now what we want to do is that we want to take the selection off of our guy because we want him to be colored and we want the rest of the image to be desaturated. So to take this our the selection off of what you want to have selected and put it onto the rest of the image, we need to invert our pixel selection. And the way you do that is that you go to the keyboard and you press shift command and the letter I and when you do that you can see that these dancing ants that's what I call them the selection the dancing ants is now along the whole border of the image and around the our subject this uh, orange rock okay so now all we have to do is come up back over here to the tools and click on the adjustments come to the hue and saturation and click and drag this saturation all the way down to the left and then we want to press command d to deselect our selection and there you go that's the second way of doing our color splash effect so that's all we have for you today you've learned how to do the color splash effect using two different methods the first method is using the white layer mask, and the second method is using the quick selection tool. Okay, that's all we have today. This is my first Pixelmator Pro video. I hope you liked it. If you would like to see more Pixelmator Pro videos, I plan on doing one video a week. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel, and thank you very much for your time and your attention. Bye-bye.